everybody. I hope you're having a good day. I thought I'd come to you with a tag video that my husband thought of that would be fun for us to do. Um, he thought the questions, he had me read the questions and said, what do you think? And thought they would be a good tag video. And so this is going to be the I interview myself tag. Kind of like a getting to know me tag, but these are different questions. And I thought it was a good idea, so yay to my husband for bringing this to me. And it came from the Field of Stream Outdoors Men June Magazine. Uh, Bill Heavey's the gentleman that wrote it. There's actually about 16 questions when I worked out one because I didn't know how to answer that one. So <laughs> anyway, I will put the questions in the description box and along with the list of people I plan to tag. If I don't tag you, feel free to do the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought these were really good questions. And since I was feeling a little bit up to it, I thought, why not record it? Okay, question number one. What is your idea of perfect happiness? Honestly, to be a little bit more financially stable and to be more successful in my career and to also have my friends and family be in the same position, you know, just everybody be happy. I know realize not everybody can be happy, but that's how I feel. That would be the ultimate, you know. What is your greatest fear? To have a panic attack in a large crowd. Um, I've been dealing with anxiety since I was 18. When me and Carrie went to Fast and Furious movie, it was the most fun I've had in a while. I forgot why don't we get out and do this more. I have an issue with large crowds. I'm trying to get over that. So we're going to uh, KLTY, who's a local Christian radio station, has a big festival coming up on June 29th. We're going to have our family reunion on that day, but it's been canceled. But we're still going to go ahead and enjoy our weekend off, and we're going to go to that. And my husband's like, are you going to be okay with that? Part of getting through this is to get out there and be okay. So... That's why I'm, my goal is to get through that and to enjoy myself, to allow myself. I have a hard time allowing myself to have fun in situations, and I'm tired of not enjoying life like that. I stress way too much, and my blood pressure is somehow out today has gone up a little bit more. So, anyway, um, but yeah, that's my worst fear. Um, I've had two major ones last year. A lot of it brought on by stress, but you know, I just sneezed. Okay. What is the trait that you most deplore in yourself? Where I am constantly looking down on myself, not thinking, not loving myself, not accepting me for me. I've learned that I'm good enough. Um, in the back of my mind a little bit, I still think I'm not good enough to be uh, anybody's friend or whatever, but I have a hard time accepting that about myself, that I am good enough and that if people don't like me for me, then you know they don't have to be around me. So, what is the trait you most deplore in others? Um, where you're constantly down. I've got so many. It's gonna turn into multiples. Uh, you constantly look down and judge a person, and not being loyal to that person, no matter what course line is one of them but I think the being loyal and judging someone and looking down on them making them feel like that they're not good enough those are a few I've got come to mind you know I said one <laughs> when and where when and where are you you're the happiest um I did not I didn't think about this there's been so many times I've been super 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 happy um, I think at a time in my life as when everything was good in my life is when I got promoted at Bass Pro. Everything in my life seemed to be going well, both in my home life and in my professional life. And I got promoted to assistant firm manager. That was the happiest. It was also stressful, but it was the happiest I had ever been that I can think of. Next to everything else. But that, I mean, for me, because it was the ultimate goal for me is to do that. In case you're wondering, I have a nail polish swatch on my thumb. Um, what words or phrases do you overuse? So, now you guys probably will give me a long list of these are the ones that Maria does, but I noticed that so. So, you know. <laughs> I know that's one of them. And if I think of any more, I'll tell you what those are later. But you guys know. Which living person do you most, most despise? 
I thought about cutting this question out, but, and you guys don't have to answer this question. I'm not sure how to answer that because I really don't despise, there are people I may not like, but I don't like going around advertising that. Um, and honestly, I could not come up with a, a name that I would want to share with you guys. So I'm going to leave that blank. Right now, there's no one that I care to share. Um, if you were to die and come back as a person thing, as a person or thing, what would it be? I don't know if you consider this a thing, but a rainbow in my case, because I love rainbows. A lot of people do too. What do you see as your greatest achievement? Um, my kids, definitely. Uh, that. And, um, yeah, basically my kids, you can't get no better than that. What is the lowest depth of misery for you? Um, in the last month or two, I've been probably the most depressed that I've ever been. I don't think I ever shared that with you guys. I didn't want to bring on pity, 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 penny or whatever you want to call it. I've been, I got really, really, really like flat out depressed. I was just totally really, really sad. And that's where I was it I don't want to go into detail, but that's pretty much the last month or so that has happened. Um in the last two weeks I've been coming out of it and I'm doing a lot better now than I was but a month ago. Uh what is your most marked characteristic? Um, I like to cut up and have fun, and I know I talk a lot, but I think I have the ability to try to make people laugh and try to entertain them in some certain way and make them feel comfortable, as comfortable as I can, so yeah. And another thing I have characteristic-wise I have to add is being creative, like, as far as, like, being, like, craft projects, for example. YouTube may be a different story, but when it comes to, you know, thinking of crafty things and stuff like that, that's another thing. What do you most value in your friends? Hands down, loyalty. I've learned that so much in the last two months, what a loyal friend is. So, yeah, loyalty. Who are your heroes in real life? Now, the guy that wrote this said the men and women in armed forces... Uh, in our arm, U.S. Armed Forces. I totally agree with him on that, but I'm going to add there's one person that comes to mind besides them and the firefighters. It's also the police officers. An officer, I believe her name was Jillian, with the Arlington Police Department. It was either before or right after the Super Bowl. She was at a residence taking a statement from a woman who was getting a crap beat out of by her boyfriend. Well, the boyfriend came back that day when Officer Jillian was taking her statement and came back to kill her, the girlfriend, and the daughter. And Officer Jillian, knowing that when he, you know, kicked the door in, got up, had her gun drawn, and he, she turned around and jumped up and took the bullet that was meant for the 13-year-old daughter. He'd already, he just shot the, the, the woman. Okay, and went back up. He kicked the door in, shot the, uh, the girlfriend, went for the daughter, and she took the bullet for her, and she, uh, but not before she shot and killed him. And she took that bullet, knowing very well that it was going to be the last time she ever saw anything, but she did it to protect that 13-year-old. That, hands down, everybody, that, it, oh my gosh, I've been, every time I think about her and what she did, that has been, she's been my hero. I'm like, you go, girl. And, so yeah, she is definitely my hero. And unfortunately, she passed away, but. And the only one that came out of it alive was the 13-year-old daughter, but, girl, but, like I said, she took the bullet, and how many people can you say that would, that would do that, you know? Man, I'm just complete awe of her. That happened several years ago, when the Super Bowl was here in the DFW area, and she will always be a hero in my book. Um, how would you like to die? Uh, peacefully. What is your motto? 
Um, love one another, as the Bible says, and don't judge others. So, anyway, guys, I hope you liked the questions. I'm trying to make sure I didn't overlook. I kept thinking there was another one. I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know um, if you liked the video. And if you didn't, that's okay. But I thought it was a different and interesting video. So anyway, hope you guys... I'm doing that Laura thing from Walking for Life. Sorry, Laura. I'm taking your hand signals. <laughs> oh, she does this. Sorry, Laura. I'm not making funny. <laughs> uh, I need to get off the... I need to stop doing the video. Anyway, have a great day, guys. I'll see you in my next video.